Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today's story is about competition. It's a story from Burma. It's called A Battle Between Two Sculptors. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a village and an abbot lived there. Um, he was quite old and he was very respected. He was a kind, good-hearted man. And the villagers thought of something that they wanted to do for him for his 80th birthday. They actually wanted to build a small temple and dedicate it to him on his birthday. Now, the construction of that temple went quite well and they still had a couple of weeks to spare and then all of a sudden they realized that they did not have enough money to pay for you know the usual almost mandatory statue of the buddha that goes with the temple but at the same time they realized that two of the monks in their very own monastery were actually quite skilled sculptors so they asked those two monks and they said, listen, we don't know whether we want a wooden or um, a stone sculpture, but we want to ask you to each make one. One was well known for making wooden sculptures and the other for stone sculptures. And then maybe once it is completed, we'll be in a better position to decide which one we want to have on our altar. And the two monks agreed and they started working side by side. After a couple of days, their work was, you know, starting to take some shape. And um, almost from the very beginning, you know, people were watching them and more and more people came and there was almost like two factions, like one pro stone and one pro wood, if you wish. Um, and the crowd was getting bigger and bigger and even getting a little rowdy and noisy with a lot of debates being uh, um, held between the two fractions. And the two sculptures were sort of drawn into this frenzy, drawn into this whirlpool of competition between the two. Then when the sculptures were finished and the two by that time anxious sculptures sculptors presented their statues people still didn't know who to choose because both of them were really truly extraordinary they were beautiful But they needed to choose and so the competition actually increased and the monks started to glare at each other and not be so friendly at each other anymore and the crowd sort of cheered them on and then one of them says this is all your fault and the other one said this is so not fair and they started to actually fight each other and they were cheered on, whipped up, if you wish, by the crowds around them. And they started first to fight with fists. And then when that wasn't enough, they got even more and more angry. And they started using their sculptures to hit at each other. And when finally the dust was settled, there were two dead monks on the floor, each of them clutching their statue. Now, why am I telling that story? Competition, we all know competition. We like it in many ways. It, we, we want to win. Um, the motivation um, to excel, which is what comp competition helps in, the motivation to excel with, let's call it ordinary competition, is the wish to win, which is, if you think about it, quite selfish, actually. So that can, you know, the, the, the issue 
one can have with this is that winning goes at the expense of others and it can have devastating consequences or even lead to death as in the story that I just told. Now it doesn't have to be that way. There exists also other form of competition which I'd like to call compassionate competition where the motivation to excel is essentially the wish to help others or to help a bigger cause like for example the environment as a cause. You could imagine people working in a plastic recycling company and there can be a competition as to who comes up with the best system to do that but the purpose is a higher purpose it's that of environment and you can actually uh, cleaning up the environment and you can actually appreciate others coming up with good inventions too and i would say the most recent example of how um caring the wish to care for others makes gets the best out of people makes people excel is the warm welcome that many Ukrainian refugees have been given in European countries. Really, it has brought the best out of people. It made them excel. Thank you.